Hello students, how are you? I hope your break went well and you did really good in your UT1 exam. I checked. I think together we can rope the subject and uh, we can make yourselves better than any group. Anyhow, we will start with a brief recap. We were on chapter 12 when you appeared for your UT and I know that many students have rejoined or joined in between. So we will start from the chapter 12 from beginning. So all of you who have covered a portion of it, it is going to be a revision for them. And for new students, it's uh, the starting from chapter 12. The name of chapter 12 is Light, Reflection and Refraction. The chapter is divided in two parts. First is Reflection and second is refle uh, Refraction. So first we will study about Reflection only. So we all know about light. This chapter is about reflection and reflection of light. What is light? Light is the form of energy which helps us in viewing the objects. Like you can, uh, you are able to see me as the light is coming from a light source, the tube light. It, it is reflecting from my body, from the board and it is going into the camera of mobile and you are able to see us. So light is a form of energy which helps us to see. And this light undergo the phenomena of reflection and refraction. So what is reflection? The definition of reflection is very simple. That is change in path of light without having change in its medium. So change in path of light without having change in its medium is known as reflection. So if you consider here a mirror So in mirror the shining side is represented by this plane side and these lines are representing the back side of the mirror. So when light falls on the surface of mirror we all know that it reflects. It reflects from this point such that if we will imagine a line perpendicular to the surface of mirror at this point which is also known as normal then we can see that before reflection light was traveling in air. And after reflection, light is also in air. So we can see that medium of light is same. Light ka jo medium hai wo change nahi hua hamara. Pehle bhi light air mein thi and after reflection bhi light air mein hai. So sirf path change hua. This was the path which was expected by the light if mirror would not have been there. But this path has been changed from this to this because of presence of mirror, because of reflection. So change in the path of light without having change in its medium is known as reflection. The change in path of light without having change in its medium is known as reflection. So this reflection has two laws. The first law of reflection according to first law of reflection angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection or we can say mathematically angle I is equal to angle R. I'll show you in the diagram. We always measure angle with the normal. This is our normal. This is incident ray. And this is the reflected ray. So this is the angle of incidence which is made by incident ray and normal. This is, your, uh, this is our angle of incidence. And this is the angle of reflection. Which is between normal and the reflected ray. Angle I is always equal to angle R and that is known as first law of reflection. Angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection 
that is also known as first law of reflection then we are having second law of reflection according to second law of reflection incident ray normal and reflected ray all lie in same plane so this is your incident ray this is your reflected ray and this is your normal and for now as i have drawn all these three in this plane of bore so practically also incident ray normal and reflected ray they all lie in same plane that is known as a second law of reflection i hope it's clear to everyone now we'll move little ahead and we'll discuss the reflection with the spherical mirror cases so we are having two uh, types of mirrors one is uh, this plane mirror and other is spherical mirrors so after studying the reflection and laws of reflection now we are having types of mirrors we are having two basic classification in types of mirror the one is plane mirror the mirror on which we already studied first and second law of reflection so this is your plane mirror and second category we are having spherical mirrors spherical mirrors are of two types one is concave mirror and second is convex mirror both are mirrors because we will also study about concave and convex lenses so what is a concave mirror a concave mirror is a mirror which is part of a spherical uh, sphere that is that's why they are known as spherical mirrors because they are a part of a sphere if you will complete them and the inner side of the mirror is reflecting like if you will look at the mirror like this this is the shape of the mirror and this side is the reflecting in which you can see your face the light will reflect from this side so this is your concave mirror and uh, the internal side is reflecting while on the other hand we are having convex mirror which is also the part of a sphere and the outer side so it is like this the outer side of the mirror is reflecting the inner side is polished so you are observing one thing here that we are always taking the reflecting side on left hand side because in studying the light we are having this uh, convention the light will always travel from left hand side to right hand side so by default we always make light travel from left hand side to right hand side so in concave mirror you can see the reflecting side is the interior of the sphere outer side is the polish the back side of the mirror and in convex mirror the reflecting surface is the outer side of sphere they both are part of a sphere you can complete them so they are a part of a sphere so this is concave mirror and that is convex mirror so before we start ray diagrams of spherical mirrors there are few important points which you must understand about spherical mirrors we will study them in parallel for concave as well as convex mirror so in both the mirrors there is a line which is imagined which is passing through the center of the mirror 
and this line is known as principal axis here also it is principal axis This principal axis uh, meets the mirror at a point which is known as pole. In both the mirrors, it is point is known as pole. And as I told you, that spherical mirrors are the part of a sphere. So if we will complete the sphere, then we know that there is a center to this, and that center is known as center of curvature. Similarly, if we will complete this sphere, we need not to complete it every time. It is just for your understanding. so if this is the mirror so we know that this is the center of curvature so likewise it is not required to complete it all the time this is for your reference so center of mirror and as we know that distance from center to any point is known as radius of curvature so that is known as radius of curvature and here also it is radius of curvature the midpoint of this center of curvature and pole is known as principal focus or simply focus so here also we are having focus point and this distance from pole to focus is known as focal length which is represented by small f here we are having focal length which is represented by small f so apart from it uh, we are left with a a dash that is known as aperture of mirror here also we can write a a dash that is aperture of mirror so let me give you a brief revision that how many points which we have studied in this uh, topic 3 the first point is c that is center of curvature the second point is pole which is uh, it is the line where it is the point where principal axis is intersecting with the mirror so that is pole all the distances are to be measured from pole the third point is the middle midpoint of center of curvature and pole that is known as principal focus or simply focus then the distance between c and p is known as radius of curvature distance between f and p is known as focal length and a a dash that is known as aperture of mirror so it's a warm up lecture for you as you are starting after a long break just go through these points and in next lecture we will discuss the rules for the image formation and uh, how we can draw the images there are six cases of image formation for concave mirror and two cases of image formation for convex mirror okay students see you in next lecture till then take care bye thank you